Ferrari. It's one of the most recognized brands on the planet. That crest with the black prancing horses celebrated around the world. The Ferrari brand is built on racing tradition and Ferrari is still the most successful team in Formula One history. Ferrari's grown their legacy by creating a world standard with their brilliant road cars. With such strong brand loyalty, it's exceptionally important for Ferrari not to break the bonds that keep them so exclusive. That means the constant pursuit to being the most advanced and technologically exclusive sports cars on the planet. What we are looking at here today is a Ferrari 488 GTB. The 488 is part of the evolution of Ferrari's 8-cylinder line. Beginning with the 308 GT4, the 8 cylinders evolved through the 308, the 328, the 348, the 355, 360, the F430, and 458 to what we have here today. It's a brilliantly modified Ferrari 488 GTB. Finished in Giallo Modena, this 2017 model is loaded with factory carbon fiber and additional carbon fiber upgrades from Vorsteiner. The rear deck sports a carbon fiber wing from BME. The 488 sits on low ring springs, rolling staggered rotiform wheels. You've got 20s up front and 21s in the rear. Behind those wheels are powerful Brembo carbon ceramic brakes. There's a proper set of Michelin Pilot Sports on here with very light use. The right tire for a vehicle with this high of a performance threshold. Press the start button. And right behind your head is Ferrari's 3.9 liter twin turbocharged flat plane crank V8 engine. It's managed by a seven speed dual clutch transmission. These two work in tandem to maximize the driver's experience. If you're crawling through town, it's as smooth as can be, but out on the open road, the V8 urgently rounds the tack, while the dual clutch provides buttery smooth yet light and fast up shifts. This is the kind of car you engage with. It's like a freshly tailored Armani suit. It even smells like luxurious Italian leather inside. Turn the Manatino from sport to race. The B Rogue exhaust is amazing inside and out, and a Eurocharged Stage 2 tune really lets the horses run wild. With these two upgrades, horsepower increases from 660 to 820 and torque increases from 560 to 720 foot-pounds of torque. Of course, that's as specified by the Eurocharged website, but I have no reason to doubt those figures. It definitely felt that fast. These are obviously huge gains over an already fast car. And you know what? It's incredible. It drives like a 100% factory built car. Just a very, very fast version. The interior is gorgeous. You're greeted by heated dual power Daytona seats, complemented with yellow contrast stitching. There's lots of carbon fiber, including dash, console, and shift paddles. It's a performance-focused environment ready to throw down at any time. Well, this is the experience behind the wheel of the 488. Let's see. Let's see if it's about as pedestrian as we can get. So, this is kind of everyday mode, chilling, driving, 35 miles an hour. It is really actually pretty comfortable. Ferraris, modern Ferraris, are so usable and so friendly and so easy. But, you know, the, the layout's great. You really can fit a pretty high statured person in here. You can slide them right in. But overall, actually, you can hit this bumpy road button too, and it actually softens the suspension even more. But anyway, that's not why you drive a Ferrari. So, this particular car comes from the factory as a twin turbo 3.9 liter V8, but with the Eurocharge tune. They claim uh, 820 horsepower over the 660, which is stock. Obviously a massive increase, but, you know, that's, uh, in something of this stature, that's a lot of, that's a lot of power in anything, but uh, it, it's able to put it down, though. That's the cool thing. This does have the awesome uh, carbon fiber steering wheel with the LEDs on it. Let's see, my favorite mode. Go so we can liven it up a little bit. We're going to go to race mode. I'm in manual. And th this is actually, for anybody who's driven these, this is kind of the preferred, I guess this is if you're like a really, if you're a real car person and like really want to engage with the car. Um, race mode can be a daily mode, it's not that intense, but the shifting is really what changes it. It's a little bit more aggressive. Throttle tipping's more aggressive, shifting's quicker. It's a dual clutch, so. Firms up because the suspension firms up. 
this is actually really engaging. This one you kind of feel like you're wearing the car rather than driving it. It's so business focused though once you get in here. So it's like you feel like you want to go faster. You got all this information, you know, the, the dual TFT screens. The one on the left has, uh, you know, basically all of your metric functions for the car. Your performance parameters, temperatures, pressures, all that good stuff. And then you've got your basically infotainment system over here on the right. than anything you hear in like a, a regular V or a, a, a basically in a flat plane crank there's always two cylinders firing at the exact same time and because of that it makes this character sound um, you know there's there's other cars that do have it if you look up other pl flat plane crank V8s the uh, new uh, Benz Black Series has it um, the Ford GT 350 very cool car with that motor, but it, you know, over 5,000 RPM, it actually sounds like a Ferrari. Go ahead, you can yell at me for that, but it's true. Let's get this horse prancing. sound oh man carbon ceramics i don't know I, I i think this is so cool because it really is as comfy as you can drive all the time but it is way faster than stock way faster than stock so quick the shifts are awesome let's hit second gear real quick such a rush at this point I think I'm gonna have to go my bag. this was an exhilarating experience I have to say I'm pretty amazed before I drove it I was curious about how effectively it could actually use the extra power no doubt I was not disappointed it's extremely fast but you're still in control it's a bit of Ferrari magic this has been my best Ferrari 488 experience by a long shot a huge thanks to my friends at the Hamilton collection for allowing this prancing horse out of the barn. Steve, Tommy, and Natalia, you guys are wonderful. Be sure to check out their channel to see funny and unpredictable antics behind the wheel of the world's best supercars. You won't be disappointed. I'll see you again soon. Oh.